Smirnoff vodka comes in more than two dozen flavours, but which are your best bets? Well, here's what we know. Some Smirnoff flavours are much better than others, and some are all-out failures. Take a look and find out what to enjoy and what to avoid. In terms of flavoured trends in the food and beverage space, Tamarind has been a big one for 2021. Publications like Nutritional Outlook credit this to the pandemic, saying since frequent travellers weren't able to get out of their homes much in 2020, they wanted more globally inspired flavours. Holly McHugh, marketing associate for Imbibe, said... The rising popularity of Asia-inspired flavours like yuzu, calamansi and tamarind in consumer packaged goods products speaks to this trend. But while tamarind is all well and good in things like chutneys and sauces, it needs to stay out of our vodka. Even to die-hard tamarind fans, the combination of tamarind and spirits just doesn't work. As one reviewer said of Smirnoff's spicy tamarind vodka, A surprising punch of sweet and sour sauce hits right away, quickly followed by a hot cayenne note. Both mouth-puckering and pungent, I could only manage a few sips before I had to call it a night. Smirnoff Sours series was launched in 2014, and the entire series falls to the bottom of our list for one primary reason. Why would you want to drink something that tastes like the homemade sour Jolly Rancher vodka your friends made in college? You remember the kind. Drop a handful of sour Jolly Ranchers into a bottle of plain vodka, let them dissolve, and then pass around the noxious mixture as shots at a party. When introducing the sours, which included at launch green apple, watermelon and fruit punch flavours, Smirnoff said, The first of its kind, sours packs a flavourful punch into every shot that is sure to awaken taste buds. Smirnoff sours taste best served as a chilled shot. Look, if you have to drink a liquor chilled and it's completely unpalatable at room temperature, it probably doesn't taste that great at all. The refrigeration just makes it go down a little bit easier. Green Apple was the worst of the bunch, so we're ranking them number 24 on our list, and this is exactly what we would do with all Smirnoff Sours. Honestly, the whole Sours series seems to be a limited-time gimmick on Smirnoff's part, and yet, it's not. You can still buy the Green Apple, Watermelon and Berry Lemon variants in stores as of summer 2021. Only the sour fruit punch flavour fell off somewhere between the 2014 launch and today. The watermelon variety is slightly better than the Green Apple, but it's still sure to make you pucker up. In fact, that sour pucker was all part of Smirnoff's marketing plan for the flavours. The brand encouraged drinkers to take photos of their friends' puckered faces after taking shots of the stuff and then post them on social media, saying, Sours is the next big thing in shot rituals. It's unique because it creates a true memorable moment, toasting with new and old friends and capturing the sour face that follows. Rounding out today's available Smirnoff Sours flavours is Berry Lemon, which is only slightly less offensive to the taste buds than the Green Apple and Watermelon varieties. Introduced a year after the original Smirnoff Sours lineup in 2015, Berry Lemon wasn't just pushed as a spirit to take as a refrigerated shot, but was also recommended as a vodka to mix with lemon lime soda. That's what really saves this vodka flavour and makes it the best of the Smirnoff Sours options. If you're going to go sour, the combination of berry and lemon are the most ideal, giving you a flavoured vodka that doesn't taste quite as juvenile as the other sours flavours. Now, you may wonder, what exactly is the difference between Smirnoff's Green Apple and Smirnoff's Sours Green Apple? And that's a great question. The Smirnoff Green Apple is just slightly smoother than the Smirnoff Sours Green Apple. Smooth enough that you can enjoy it alone with soda rather than resorting to chilled shots only. However, that smoothness isn't great enough to redeem the flavour very much, which is why it only ranks just above Smirnoff Sours series. Honestly, if you want to go with a green apple-inspired alcoholic beverage from Smirnoff, you'd be best off going with Smirnoff Ice Green Apple, the carbonated malt beverage that's blatantly a sugary, fruity, sour alcoholic beverage rather than a flavoured vodka pretending it's better than it is. Sure, to the new drinker, All liquor tastes a little bit medicinal, but if you're a seasoned vodka drinker and you take a swig of this Smirnoff grape vodka, you will undoubtedly be transported back in time to your days of drinking grape cough syrup as a child. The secret ingredient is... Homer! No! 
cough syrup. <gasps> Nothing but plain, ordinary, over-the-counter children's cough syrup. Smirnoff's grape-flavoured vodka just tastes fake, or at least what we think of today as fake grape. That fake grape flavour is a synthetic chemical that's a match for one found in Concord grapes. However, if you're expecting your Smirnoff grape vodka to taste like the grapes in your produce drawer, you'll be sorely disappointed. If you take a gander at all of Smirnoff's flavours, you'll notice that the brand has capitalised on just about every fruity and tropical flavour out there, including coconut. Unfortunately, some of those flavours just don't work well with vodka. Coconut, for example, goes best with rum. As one reviewer notes, clear, unlike UV's milky white oddity, Smirnoff again shows that when it comes to coconut, the natural companion is rum, not vodka. There's something about these two that just doesn't seem to play well together. The coconut just can't be sweetened enough to cut through the vodka's harshness. Vodka is naturally harsh and somewhat astringent, but for those who like vodka, that's a good thing. Trying to cover that up, or even trying to make that harshness play well with something light like coconut, is just a giant fail that proves Smirnoff is trying too hard in some instances to expand its ever-growing list of flavours. Now we're moving out of the truly terrible Smirnoff vodka flavours and into the flavours that are a little more in the middle of the pack. Smirnoff's Pink Lemonade is a newer flavour, just introduced in 2021, and it's already receiving positive reviews. So what makes this different from your basic spiked pink lemonade? This version of Smirnoff combines both strawberry and raspberry with lemon, creating a delicious balance of sweet and sour for a drink that somehow feels more adult than your average lemonade-flavoured beverage. And you can get the Pink Lemonade Smirnoff flavour as a Smirnoff ice drink too. That means no mixing and lower alcohol by volume. So why doesn't the Smirnoff Pink Lemonade Vodka rank higher on our list? You still have the issue of mixing the vodka with something, whether that be lemonade, lemon-lime soda or straight soda water in order for it to be truly enjoyable. You need a liquor license to sell vodka. And you need to recognize a business opportunity. Smirnoff's raspberry flavor has been a staple on the Smirnoff lineup for years. It reliably tastes the way raspberry flavored things are supposed to taste and is a pretty decent addition to mixed drinks. You can even take shots of the raspberry flavored vodka, but if you're going to drink your Smirnoff straight, you can certainly do better, which is why this raspberry flavored vodka sits where it does on our list of worst to best Smirnoff flavors. If you like most pineapple-flavoured things, you'll probably like Smirnoff Pineapple. Like the Smirnoff Raspberry, the pineapple flavour is decent as a shot, even at room temperature, and it makes for a very versatile mixer. However, just like with the Smirnoff Raspberry, when it comes to the Smirnoff Pineapple, you could do better. In fact, if you're looking specifically for a pineapple-flavoured alcoholic beverage, you could just go with the Smirnoff Ice Pineapple option, which is arguably significantly better than the straight-flavoured vodka. Rather than being a layer of pineapple flavour loosely draped over the more in-your-face flavour of vodka, Smirnoff Ice Pineapple is fizzy, bubbly and refreshing, and hardly tastes like alcohol at all. Infused with natural cherry flavour, Smirnoff Cherry Vodka is yet another one of the brand's middle-of-the-road fruit flavours. It ranks higher than some of its fruity competitors, though, thanks to its overall versatile appeal. Most drinkers aren't going to mind a bit of cherry flavour in their mixed beverage, and the cherry flavour itself doesn't taste as fake as, say, Smirnoff's grape option. As for mixing, reviewers recommend just about any soda and some even use the vodka as an alternative to wine when serving non-wine drinking friends. Total Wine also recommends using the vodka in a berry spritzer cocktail. Another fruit flavor from Smirnoff, passion fruit, is also pretty good when mixed and, like the cherry option, it's versatile enough that it can be mixed into just about any sweet cocktail. It also pairs well with just about any standard mixer, from soda to fruit juices. One reviewer even recommends adding the vodka along with passion fruit juice into an ice cream maker for a cocktail slushy. The only downside with Smirnoff's passion fruit vodka? When you're dealing with such strong flavors as passion fruit, they can start to feel old pretty quickly. Because of that, it's likely you wouldn't choose this flavored vodka as your go-to every single weekend. 
On the sweet side, Smirnoff Watermelon, while not as popular as some of the other fruity flavours on this list for drinking straight and or in shot form, receives rave reviews as a mixer. Unsurprisingly, reviewers seem to love Smirnoff Watermelon for use in their watermelon-based slush cocktails. In fact, if you're looking for the right vodka to use in your vodka-spiked watermelon, look no further. Never made a spiked watermelon before? While the process does take a while, like over 12 hours, it's a pretty easy one and well worth the time if you want to impress your guests at your next summer party. All you need is a watermelon and a bottle of vodka. In this case, Smirnoff Watermelon. You core out a hole in the center of the watermelon, slide your upside down bottle of vodka inside, and then let it all rest for a few hours until the vodka seeps into the watermelon. Then you can remove the vodka, put the watermelon in the fridge to chill, and slice and dice when you're ready to chow down on your boozy snack. Just be careful your dog doesn't get to it first. As far as Smirnoff's flavors go, Smirnoff Sorbet Light Raspberry Pomegranate is definitely one of the sweeter options, and not necessarily in a good way. So why does it rank so highly on our list? It's all because, despite the flavor's lack of mass appeal, it does have a pretty passionate fan base, many of whom seem to like the fact that the flavor is pretty sweet. They also like that since it's straight vodka, it's low in calories, making the vodka a suitable alternative to sugary cocktails. And that was exactly what Smirnoff was going for when the brand introduced its line of sorbet-like vodkas in 2013. With 78 calories per 1.5-ounce serving, the brand says each serving has 25% fewer calories than the leading dessert-inspired flavored vodkas. While Smirnoff Root Beer Float might not be something you'd want to drink on its own, it does get points for being the perfect addition to an actual root beer float. Creamy, slightly sweet with that classic root beer spice and vanilla kick, this is a vodka that'll make you feel a little bit nostalgic, but in a good way. The flavored vodka is a great fit for parties, and it's pretty smooth and not too vodka-y. Some other adult root beer float add-ins include Smirnoff's less popular whipped cream flavor, as well as Smirnoff Vanilla. Another Smirnoff flavor that you probably don't want to drink every day, Smirnoff Red, White and Berry does get a special nod and a reasonably high ranking thanks to its nostalgia-inducing flavor that's been likened to Bomb Pops. If you don't recall Bomb Pops, they're the red, white and blue rocket-shaped popsicles that were, and still are, available at just about every ice cream counter in every ice cream cooler and from every ice cream truck while many of us were growing up. Just like the Smirnoff Red, White and Berry Vodka, the Bomb Pop blends three flavors – cherry, lime and blue raspberry. Want to enjoy the same flavors, just with a lower alcohol by volume? Smirnoff also makes a Smirnoff Ice Red, White and Berry drink, so you get the same Bomb Pop taste only as a malt beverage with less alcohol and a carbonated fizzy base. Very few people are sitting around just eating cranberries, and similarly, very few people are sitting around sipping straight cranberry vodka, but Smirnoff still has dedicated one of its flavors to this underappreciated berry. Thankfully, the actual cocktail that's a cranberry vodka, aka Cape Cod, is pretty popular, making this vodka flavor a perfect fit for mixing with cranberry juice and a splash of lime, or with a lemon-lime soda. Reviewers also like this flavor when used to make cocktails like Cosmopolitans or when mixed with ginger ale or mineral water. Another fruity Smirnoff flavor that's best mixed, Smirnoff Orange, is a truly versatile flavor of vodka. It plays well in fruity drinks, but also dessert cocktails. It works on its own and also in the simplest mixed drinks, even if it's just with some soda water and a splash of lime. Reviewers describe Smirnoff Orange as smooth and great with a cream soda for an orange creamsicle-like taste. Of course, if you're making screwdrivers, there's really no other flavor you'd want. One reviewer notes that the crisp, clean flavor doesn't taste overly like alcohol and that the orange flavor really does taste like fresh, squeezed oranges. According to Smirnoff, that's all thanks to the vodka's unique blend of six varietals of mandarin and navel oranges. 
As far as Smirnoff's fruity flavors go, Smirnoff Blueberry is pretty mild, so you could feasibly drink it straight, on crushed ice, as a shot, or, uh, strangely enough, poured into a cake. However you enjoy it, the Blueberry Smirnoff also works well with a lot of different mixers. The Blueberry flavor blends well with the natural flavor of the alcohol too, so it's not as if the two flavor profiles are warring for your attention. According to reviewers, favorite mixers include pineapple juice, cranberry juice, lemonade, lemon-lime soda, and even Red Bull. Reviewers report that the blueberry flavor is definitely suitable for summertime. Just be careful! Reviewers also note that because Smirnoff blueberry is so smooth, it masks the taste of the vodka pretty well, meaning you might be drinking a little more than you initially planned. I feel relaxed and I'm ready to party! While not the best sweet flavor on Smirnoff's team, the kissed caramel flavor from Smirnoff is still pretty good. In terms of sugary flavors, it's surprisingly smooth for how much sugar is actually there, making it a good addition to most dessert cocktails. From hot chocolate to milkshakes to your white Russian, this Smirnoff flavor could work well with them all. But true fans like this vodka all on its own, as reviewers say things like, my favorite drink is a shot of caramel-kissed vodka over crushed ice. Perfect refresher for the weather heating up. You're probably wondering why this Smirnoff flavor ranks so highly on our list. It's partially because, when it comes to making dessert cocktails, there are few flavors that are so often used as peppermint. However, few consumers are regularly making dessert cocktails at home, so when they do need a peppermint vodka or other peppermint-flavored spirit, they likely don't want to spend a ton of money. Thankfully, when it comes to Smirnoff's peppermint offering, the brand provides a great quality product, but also an agreeable price that isn't going to require overspending for a spirit that you only use every once in a while. Beyond this, in terms of vodka flavors, if you're going to go with a particularly strong one, peppermint is probably the flavor you want to choose. The sharp taste of the peppermint mixes well with the equally sharp taste of Smirnoff vodka in a way that some other flavors, like tamarind, just can't do. When you're looking for a vodka to specifically use in sweet cocktails, or if you're someone who likes an alcohol that's on the sweeter side in general, you still want a flavored vodka that's not too cloyingly sweet or that tastes wildly artificial. That's where Smirnoff Vanilla comes in. The flavor is light and smooth, and the vanilla notes work well with tons of different mixes and cocktails. And if you have a sweet tooth, you may find the flavor to be an agreeable vodka for shots and straight drinking on the rocks as well. Mix it into your hot beverages like hot chocolate, throw some into your milkshake, or create Smirnoff Vanilla S'mores Cups. Uh, yeah, that looks good! In terms of how you can use this Smirnoff flavor, you're really only limited by your imagination. If you could envision yourself adding a few drops of vanilla extract to something, you can add Smirnoff vanilla in the same way. Smirnoff Lime does an excellent job of infusing a vodka with a lot of flavor, but without straight up slapping you in the face with that flavor. This flavor works well both by itself or with a mixer, and even simple mixers won't be overpowered. Any cocktail or mixed drink that's normally garnished with a lime or that includes lime juice, you can probably just add a splash of this on top. Think of vodka soda with lime or a Cape Cod. One reviewer had this to say, It's tart, not too sweet, but still smooth enough to sip. Absolutely will buy again. Sadly, Smirnoff did release an even better version of Smirnoff Lime in 2019 that also included ginger, making it a perfect addition to a ginger beer for a makeshift Moscow mule. But that flavor has since been discontinued. The best flavored vodkas feature a balanced flavor profile, a crisp finish, and an overall flavor that pairs well with a variety of different mixers and cocktail ingredients. Smirnoff Citrus checks all of those boxes with ease. Infused with natural citrus flavors, primarily lemon, it pairs well with the most simple mixers, such as soda water, but then it also works well in more complex cocktails. It's not overly citrusy. Everything is balanced, light, and refreshing. Sure, it's not a flavor, but it is the best Smirnoff vodka you're going to find. 
hands down. Smirnoff number 21 vodka, according to the brand, is the world's top vodka. Triple distilled and filtered 10 times over, it's the legend of mainstream vodka. Sure, new drinkers may not find it very palatable due to the lack of flavour, and yes, it might not be as smooth as other more expensive vodkas on the shelf, but for a middle grade, inexpensive, unflavoured vodka, Smirnoff number 21 ticks all the right boxes. Overall, experienced drinkers will appreciate the lack of flavour, as it essentially makes the vodka a do it all blank canvas on which you can create the cocktail of your dreams. Even the classic martini can be crafted from number 21, and who knows, it just might make you feel like you travelled back in time. He told me once he was an Oxford man. However, I don't believe it. Why not? I don't know. I just don't believe he went there. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more MASH videos about your favorite beverages are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.